To install the Norton 5600 door operator, you'll need a flat blade and a Phillips screwdriver, a tape ruler, and a straight edge. You'll also need a drill, a thread tap, wire strippers, a center punch, and a set of Allen wrenches. First, locate the mounting holes using the center line of the hinge as a reference. Measure and mark the mounting holes as shown on the template. Note that four of the holes are one inch from the bottom of the frame, while the outside two are a quarter inch higher. Punch the hole locations, drill with the number seven bit, then thread the holes with a one quarter 20 thread tap. Next, start the screws in the two center holes, leaving at least a quarter inch gap. Then slide the operator onto these screws. Insert and tighten all remaining screws. The next step is to mount the track to the top of the door. Use the measurements provided on the template. Measure from the edge of the door on the hinge side. Be sure the end cap on the track is flush with the top of the door. Drill and tap the holes for the standard screws or use wood screws. Once the screws are secure, snap on the track cover. Next, attach the arm to the track slider using the Allen wrench. Turn this screw counterclockwise to tighten. Dip switch number one on the left is used to set the hand of the door. Move it up to the on position for right hand doors and down to the off position for left hand. Our door is left handed so this switch will be off. Dip switch number two on the right configures the push and go option. If desired, set the right dip switch up to the on position. Move the switch down to deactivate the push and go option. Magnets are used to signal the unit is at closed and fully open positions. With the door in the closed position, slide the closed position magnet so it aligns directly with the sensor. Then open the door to the preferred location and align the open position magnet with the sensor. At this point it will be necessary to refer to the chart in the manual to determine the positions for the incoming control wires. Once you've decided on the wiring choice that suits your needs, Simply insert the bare end of the wire into the appropriate block and tighten the screw. Make sure to use the green grounding screw directly below the activation connection block to ground the operator. This is essential for proper operation. Now connect 120 volts AC power to the main power block located beside the circuit breaker switch. The hot and common are clearly labeled. Once you've made your connections, turn the red circuit breaker switch on. Turn the power on with the on-off switch located on the end cap and check the operation of the door. To make adjustments on the inverter control board, first determine which function adjustment is needed. Select the pot to make the adjustment. Turn the pot clockwise to increase, counterclockwise to decrease. Finally, install the cover with the four screws supplied. Recheck the operation of the door and make any final adjustments. The Norton 5600 is ready for operation.